Hey everyone, today we are going to start a new series of tutorial Build Shopping Cart app with React Native and WooCommerce and this is the first part of this tutorial In the last uh, tutorial we did, we did something similar but uh, we did a dummy uh, API call and we used set timeout to make that dummy API call but this time we will replace that dummy API call with a real API call and that's the main difference of uh, this tutorial. So let's get started. So first thing that we need is that we need to set up the, the boilerplate app that we need for uh, fetching the data. So uh, you can see that uh, we have all these tools in the previous tutorial also we uh, uh, installed all these dependencies so this is react react native react redux 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 logger and redux thunk and the two new packages that we are adding in this particular part of tutorial is crypto and oath 1.0a so these two packages we need for making the api call okay now once we set up the boilerplate of react native then we need a backend and we need the backend uh, should be a wordpress woocommerce uh, website so if you don't have a wordpress woocommerce website then just go ahead and set up a wordpress website and install a woocommerce plugin in it and once it's installed you can uh, go ahead in go ahead in the menu and uh, you can go to WooCommerce settings and let's let it load and once you are in the settings you can just go to the API tab and in API you need to enable the REST API uh, click the checkbox and click save changes and once it's done you need to go to keys apps option and you need to add a new key so you have your add key option once you click on this button you will get uh, the you need to enter the description and you need to select a user that that's the admin user I need to give a permission and generate an API key so your once your API key is generated uh, it will give you something like this a consumer key and a consumer secret so you need to uh, take a note of this consumer key consumer secret and you also need to uh, take a note down the URL of your WordPress WooCommerce website so once it's done then uh, you you can go to this link I have mentioned this link on in the article that I have posted uh, build shopping cart app with react native and WooCommerce part 1 so here you have the link of WooCommerce API SDK you can just go to this SDK link and you, you can download the SDK as a zip and just unzip the this SDK and place it in your uh, this shopping cart app you can place it anywhere just remember the uh, relative path of where you have placed it so i have my woocommerce sdk here you can see it has three files api config js woocommerce api dot js so we uh, just need to deal with this config js and the consumer key and consumer secret that you get from your woocommerce api uh, sorry woocommerce uh, backend you need to copy it uh, paste it here and you also need to paste the url of your uh, WordPress WooCommerce website once it's done then then we can start coding so uh, we will just modify few parts of the code 
and uh, the previous code you can check it here I have the link of the previous tutorial mentioned here so in this tutorial I have uh, mentioned almost uh, means I have done uh, the basic boilerplate that we need we can just use this boilerplate we need to make few changes in this part of tutorial so let's see what changes we need to make we have a shop.js file and in the shop.js file we need to replace the dummy api call with the real api call and we need to use the uh, woocommerce sdk that we just uh, set up right now so you can see that we are making two calls uh, two api calls one is for categories of product and one is for the product itself so So once the, uh, you can see that uh, when we make this API calls, we need to return the result to the callback. We are just passing these two callbacks here and the result that we are getting from the WooCommerce API, uh, we are passing it to the two callbacks. And uh, this is our action types. These are the following action types that we need and in this part of tutorial we are using only uh, three to four types of action type that is request response uh, request categories uh, sorry receive categories and receive products so we are using these in the our action and uh, in the reducer so let's see how we are using it uh, here you can see we have uh, three action types so uh, yeah sorry we have three actions here request request products request categories and we have a uh, action creator here get all products so in the action creator we are making the api call uh, we are calling the shop js that we just uh, coded here and using this shop js we are making the api call and we are making the dispatch so as soon as uh, means before making the api we are dispatching a request what's happening is that when we make a request dispatch then uh, this reducer case is getting called and this reducer case is setting is loading to true so this uh, status you can use to show a indicator to a user uh, while the products and categories are getting fetched from the backend so this uh, dispatch uh, states that uh, our our api call has started but still it's on, on the way means it's not completed it has just started so after uh, getting started uh, and you the fetching of categories is complete and the fetching of uh, products is complete then you can just pass it to the uh, receive categories action and receive categories product so once the receive categories product is done in the receive categories product reducer case we are setting is loading to false so that the activity indicator whatever we are showing uh, to the user is like dis disappears and the real product and the categories uh, can be rendered okay so this is basically how it's uh, working and we are just uh, what we have done is just we have uh, set up things and we have fetched the categories and we have fetched the uh, products and we have set up the woocommerce sdk and that's it for this tutorial so i will now show you things in action so i have my app here and it's running and I will just go ahead and I will start the debugger so that we can check things. Okay, so here's the debugger and let's see what's happening.
ओके सो इन द डिवर वाट्स हैपनिंग इज दैट दिस इज द प्रीवियस स्टेट नथिंग इज हैपनिंग हेयर बेसिकली बट आफ्टर द रिक्वेस्ट एक्शन इज मेड वी नीड टू चेक वाट्स द चेंज सो इन द रिक्वेस्ट एक्शन इफ यू गो एंड यू विल चेक बाई आई डी देन यू विल से सी इज लोडिंग इज ट्रू बट इफ यू चेक द प्रीवियस स्टेट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स बाई आई डी इट इज एम टी द बाई आई डी हैज नो वैल्यू बट हेयर द बाई आई डी हैज वैल्यू ऑफ इज लोडिंग इक्वल्स टू ट्रू ओके आफ्टर दैट वाट्स हैपनिंग इज दैट इट्स फेचिंग इट्स इट्स द एक्शन रिसीव कैटेगरीज इज देयर एंड देन एक्शन रिसीव प्रोडक्ट इज देयर सो there is a dispatch of receive categories action and there is a dispatch of receive products but after the dis, uh, dispatch of receive uh, category products is complete then buy products in the buy products we have all the products that we have in our uh, woocommerce uh, wordpress woocommerce website and all the products are uh, Uh, fetched and the fetching is complete and also you will notice that uh, uh, sorry in the next step if we go in the products by ids we have all the products and is loading is set to false so once is loading is set to false then we can uh, this indicates that fetching is complete and we can uh, stop the indicator or whatever we are using so that's how uh, this fetching is working guys and you can see if i reload you can see that there is a indicator and once the indicator uh, fetching is complete indicator disappears and the product is getting rendered so this is how it is working you can see here we have the categories and here we have the product list so thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and please uh, do go to the our website and check out the uh, theoretical part of this tutorial it will help you to understand this video better and also make sure you subscribe to our channel and subscribe to the newsletters we uh, newsletter section we have and if you are uh, if you like our work and hard work please go ahead and make some small donations even if you make small donation it will help us and it will uh, really uh, encourage us to do these things more and more so thank you guys and keep watching stay tuned uh, love you guys bye bye